So another thing I wanted to talk to you about also, bro, the end game to TRT. Okay. Yeah. So like I understand TRT completely. And I know that some guys, they have to do it because their levels are so fucked off or something. Yeah. It's a need. But for like most people or, or like the biggest thing, like a, somebody that can do something. I know you said like the plants the other day that there's there's two different plants yeah. that you can eat that, you know, fix it. But what is just the end game? Like, I just want to know, like, what is the like, what age will you stop at? Um, what is a guy's plan? Because your body's not going to naturally produce it anymore. Your estrogen yeah. levels are going to be higher. You can take estrogen blockers. You can do that stuff. Yeah. But bottom line, your body's not going to remember how to produce tests anymore. So like no, you can take uh, you can take uh, HCG or kisspeptin and get gonadotrill and it'll refire your. And when it, and what does it get when it refires it up to? Does it get up to the same level that it got up to before? I believe so. Yeah, it definitely worked for me. I mean, it's, it was pretty amazing how, how well that stuff works. The thing for for me is you know if, if I if I count my macros, you 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 ask the same question: How long in your life are you going to keep counting these macros? How long is this healthy eating going to work for you? I'm like, no, I've made a decision. I'm going to eat healthy for the rest of my life. So the same the thing with testosterone, it's just one of these things where it's it's so incredibly easy to use and easy to use safely. And as I get older, the number is obviously going to go down. When I'm in my 60s, I won't even take 100 milligrams a week at that point. I'll, I'll, I'll probably be way below that because my vascular system is not going to be able to handle thick yeah, blood like Yeah, it's hard, that. yeah. But the thing is, the problem is this, right? If I was going to live a life where at 35, my, my total test was in the 200s, it's not going to go back up. There's no, it just isn't going to go, unless I've been kicked in the nuts by a fucking donkey and there's some surgery that I can have. It's not going to go back up. But all those things, like people say, like going, uh, you know, outside, working out naturally, you know, yeah, it's more, not, it's, more it's, leg it's workouts, not, all that it's stuff. It's not going to go from 200. The, the leg workout thing is actually more for HGH. Uh, the, 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 it's not going to go. The, the problem is the difference between 400 and 900 is so stark to me. And, uh, and I was talking to somebody else about it, um, a buddy of mine who's in his 50s. And, it, you know, and I explained to him, it was like, the colors get brighter. And like, yeah. you just like, sex with your wife is better. I just can't explain it until you have it happen. But when you're in your late 30s, you just, everything starts getting gray. I don't know how to explain it, but like, you work out just as hard, but your arms don't get any bigger and your waist gets bigger. And the world just gets a little less colorful. And you're just kind of like, kind kind of, kind of just not giving a fuck as much. You know, it's not horrible, but you're not giving a fuck as much about getting out of bed. I was dating this fucking gorgeous girl i just wasn't interested in having sex with her she tells people that and instead of me arguing with her i'm like yeah you're right i didn't got on TV. and like you were working out at that time already Every day. i was already going seven, day, like, seven it, days a week i was out at the pools all the time and did you try just, like natural yeah. test stuff before too yeah i just had this no i didn't i just had this fucking inner tube around my gut and it just wouldn't go away and i got on tests i was only taking 100 milligrams and after 10 weeks i just could not believe like the world was brighter mm -hmm. everything was just better and i was like what is this feeling i'm feeling and i remember when i played linebacker in high school that's what this feeling was. And I was back to that feeling again. And then this company that I, you know, started, um, th this, th this whole thing with MOA, it definitely wouldn't have started if it wasn't for that. Um, and you know, the other thing is, you know, my girlfriend's 21, my girlfriend before her was 25. And just like the amount of sex I could have as a 45 year old man, mm -hmm. it didn't drop off at all because of this. Um, and, and, you know, there was just, there's so many health benefits to being able to go to the gym and having your muscle repair itself at a higher rate. Like when you were 19, mm -hmm. so many benefits to that, um, cardiovascularly and all these other cases that it's just, to me, it, it's getting more and more to be a no brainer as we go off, you know, a decade, two decades of men taking all the CRT and they're just not dying. They're not, there's the negative consequences we were waiting for. They're just not happening. Yeah. Um, and it's so much of the fact that we're seeing these hyper successful men and all of do when I was at the thing today with Ryan Stuman, I happen to know all those speakers are on TRT. Almost all of them yeah. are on TRT. Yeah. And these guys are, you know, they're they're all driving Lambos with their fucking gorgeous, perfect wives and their three, four, five kids. And they're they live in mansions. And it's just like you can see this fucking vigor. That's the life today, yeah. for sure, compared they're, to fifty years ago. They're yeah. vigor, they're vigor and they're fucking they just they, their anger and their their vigor and their just like uh taste for life, their excitement for life. And I see it in them, and, and then I just keep waiting to hear about the guys dropping dead from it, and I just don't hear about it. I hear guys dropping dead from taking Trembolone, but I don't hear guys dropping dead from taking exogenous testosterone that's made from wild yams. No, I don't see that. Uh, is it, uh, if you're on it or you on it forever, you can be on less and less as you get older. But I just yeah, can't. So you're not scared of like a you know stopping at a point and being depressed afterwards no, because taking, you're not having the I've, amazing feeling anymore. I've, I've taken ten weeks off before. And I noticed it a little bit, but I actually didn't lose a ton and of so muscle. So, like, why don't you cycle on and off regularly? So, you would do that if you were taking an anabolic, like Anavar, but you yeah. wouldn't do that with testosterone. You don't do that with no, testosterone. Because I, 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 I've listened to several people talk about it. Jay Cutler mentioned about cycling, but I think what he means is, it, like, let's say in the summer you want to go extra physiological. Let's just say in the summer, I'm not recommending this, by the way. Uh, you go to 300 milligrams a week 
uh, and then in the winter you go back down to 170. That's what he means by cycle on and off. Like going completely off is bad. Like you're mm-hmm. gonna you're you're gonna get man boobs and you're gonna get depressed. I don't I don't recommend going completely off. If I had to wean myself off, let's say I went to prison and like I had to go, you know, not take TRT, I would just wean myself off and I would get used to it after time. But I could probably get a still get a prescription for HCG yeah. and for an estrogen blocker, and I'd still be I'd still be okay. But it would just like just some joint degeneration and just. I don't know, man. Like I can eat anything. It's just, it's like, it's fun being 19 again. That's what it feels like. That's the best way to explain it. Yeah. Uh, There's no way, like I'm not dating a 20, uh, like dating girls in their early twenties. I'm not dating them because I'm some creeper who wants to date girls in their early twenties. I'm dating them because they can handle me physically because I'm like, I'm a 19 year old again. Yeah. I'm not like most 45 year olds who are like, yeah, whatever. Really like, depressed and yeah. shit boring. Like I can, I can have sex three or four times a day. Most guys who are 45 can't, they're overweight. And they're, this is the reason why I do this. I like being, I like feeling 19 again. That's part of the reason. I like being able to the fact that I can still cross over 18 year old kids on the basketball court. I yeah. like the fact that I can still throw up a lot of weight on the bench press. And so that's what testosterone gives me and the ability to talk on these things for four or five hours and not even be tired. That's where, that's what it gives you. No, for real. Um, no, what was I just about to say? Uh, um, uh, so I just, what, what I don't like is that I just feel like it makes the, um, I don't know. I, I'm really against the system sometimes when it comes to or the medical system because they, they want you to be relying on them. Like, I don't like people being relying on depression med. And now, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I would say TRT is outside of the medical yeah, system because it it's, it's not run by yeah. like like regular pharmaceutical companies. That's the first thing. And the second thing I'll tell you is that the opposite is now happening. Where in certain states, they're making it to where you can't even shoot yourself anymore. You can't even inject yourself anymore. You have to have a professional in front of you. There's places in Canada that are trying to do this. And the reason why, and I knew, I've known this was going to come. It's actually the opposite. Like you want to talk about the matrix attack. The next attack from the matrix will be on testosterone. Yeah. Because they don't want the men masculine there's too, anymore. There's too many of us that are strong and masculine with loud, deep voices and six pack abs in our mid forties and early fifties who make millions of dollars a year who have voices, who vote and have opinions and large social media followings. There's too many of us and we fuck our wives. There's too many of us that are doing this. And that's scary to some people. And I, if you want to say the next matrix attack on the, uh, it will be an attack on testosterone. That's what I think. Yeah. Hey y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.